because what happens with blow-up holes, they just compound. Yeah, yeah. Hit it in so the chunk. So even Scott's, he's, he, well, it went out there, right? He's still in. In the behind. scoring he's zone. Got to check exactly. It. Chips on, two putts, so we get two checks, I make a bogey. Yeah. And, and the point with this, guys, if you, if you really commit to this, you get away from thinking, oh, is it a par or a bogey putt? You think, no, no, I've got to make this right. to yeah, go yeah. ahead and get my check mark. Yeah. Right, and, and the whole idea then is, is that what you're trying to do is have a great caddy, okay? Yeah. And what most pro, I'm just gonna be honest, right? Most people get lessons from a professional and they say, oh, I wish you'd have been on the golf course with me. Yeah. Well, now you're dependent on me. That's horrible. Like, that's not good coaching if someone has to say to you, oh, I wish you were there, you could have helped me. Yeah. You've got to be independent, which means you don't need to be a better golfer, you need to be a better caddy. Yeah. Which I'd be telling you is, guys, don't hit driver down the left here because you could break a rule of scoring. You won't get a check mark. So what you're trying to do and what we talk about is you've got to have foresight, not hindsight. Everybody has hindsight. Oh, I shouldn't have hit a seven iron. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for the flag stick. I shouldn't have hit driver. Well, that doesn't help because you lost the golf ball. It's got to be, let's get negative and go, where can I go? I can't go left. Where's the worst thing? I can't go left and long. Now you figure that out, do everything you possibly can to do the opposite. And this is where it's ugly. It doesn't feel good. And then you look at the scorecard and go, that doesn't make any sense. I just shot 83. And I didn't, you shot 82 the other day, right? And you said you played, hit, hit the ball terribly. Mm -hmm. But you scored really well. Nice. And, and that's what I'm looking for for you guys. It's not, I hit the ball great and shot an 88. I hit it like crap and shot an 82. There's nothing worse than hitting the ball great and having a terrible score. There's nothing better than hitting the ball bad and having a great score. You walk off the course like, I don't know, I just did that today, you know? So this is the mindset is, we're giving you a system to basically get you away from thinking score and flag stick is the hole and driver off yeah. the tee box. It's no, what do you have to do to get no more than a bogey? That's it.